We're now going to answer this question before us. You might like to pause it and give it a go for yourself. All right, there are different ways of approaching this. You might just like to rewrite it as a log, in which case you'd say my power one minus X is going to be equal to log of a base of 0 0.3, then an argument of 12. Then you could rearrange this a little bit. You could say, all right, I'm going to minus one to both sides. So log 0 0.3, 12 minus one, and then divide both sides by negative one. And that's going to leave me with negative log of 0 0.3, 12 plus one. And that right there would be our answer. Alternatively, the way that you could solve this is by taking the log of both sides. So, or you could say, let's take, and I would probably take the log of 0.3. So take log of 0 0.3 of both sides. So this is an alternative way of answering it, both sides. Oops, and then we're gonna come here. We're gonna do that. All right, let's come here. Let's go there. So this is going to be log of 0 0.3 of 0 0.3, 1 minus x is equal to log of 0 0.3, 12. And then once we're here, I can now take this power to the front, 1 minus x of log of 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is equal to log of 0 0.3, 12. Now, 0 point, log of 0 0.3 to the 0 0.3. Remember, when your argument and the base are the same, it just becomes 1. So this becomes 1 minus x. If I was to write it out, it's 1 minus x times 1. Log 0 0.3, 12. So that means what I'm going to be left with is 1 minus x is equal to log of 0 0.3, 12. And then once I've rearranged this, what am I going to be left with? Negative x is going to be equal to log of 0 0.3, 12 minus one, then I will divide across by that negative, negative log of 0 0.3, 12 plus one. And that is my answer. And hopefully that's what we got up here. Negative log 0 0.3, 12 plus one, it is. So that is the same as that. Now, if you answered this on your CAS calculator, what are you gonna get out? Well, if I come here and let me just come to the question itself. If I went here and went menu three, one, and then typed in 0 0.3 raised to one minus X is equal to 12 comma X and hit enter here. Uh, it's giving me an exact value there. So let's double check that that's the exact value that I'll get out here. Now this is interesting. It gives me the exact value. Let me just type this in negative, negative control log 0.3, 12 plus one, now it's giving it to me like that. I want to control that, get rid of that, go here, do there, go there, go control enter. And I've typed it in wrong. Let me try one more time. I forgot to put the decimal there. And that is the same, perfect. So if we type it into the CAS, it just gives us an answer exactly like that, which is exactly what we see there. Hopefully this has made sense on how to answer this question. Remember, there are different ways of going about this if you decided not to take a log of a base of 0 0.3, but a base of another number. All right, I'll see you in the next part.